And I was very, very angry about, you know, when, that, when th this happened to my father. And he's only 80 something years old. And a South Sacramento family's heart pounding home invasion caught on camera. And tonight, that family is speaking out. Yes, yeah, so terrifying. Jennifer McGraw is live at the Sheriff's Department with surveillance video you'll only see on CBS 13. Jen? Yeah, this is such horrifying video. You often hear about these things, but you rarely ever see them, which is why the victim's son is now speaking out to warn other families. The horrifying home invasion happened in a matter of seconds. Two thieves burst through the door and are seen dragging an elderly man across the living room. One of the guys just grabbed him and tore him, asked him, where's the money? Where's all the money? And my father said, I'm an old man. I got no money. I'm an old man. I got no money. Just keep screaming. Still shaken, the homeowner asks that we conceal his identity. My mom's scared. My, my, my wife is scared. And yeah, I do. I do. Seriously. Everybody was scared. His father was the only one home when the suspects rammed the garage door to sneak in. It's pretty shocking. Um, the way they made entry into this home, typically there's some telltale signs from the onset um, why victims are targeted. Sergeant Sean Hampton says there weren't any in this case. This was uh, very odd. The homeowner tells me this, however, was personal. They think the Chinese, they think the Asian have money at home. Not all of them. That's a stereotype. Instead, the suspects viciously attacked a man on camera, getting away with very little. It absolutely made me sick. But it's also this video that helped catch the crooks. Our investigators and our patrol officers uh, did some very diligent and hard investigative work and were able to make two arrests in this case. A third, however, is still on the run. Very angry, very mad. The homeowner is hoping this video will lead to another lockup. I don't want to see this kind of happen to her, any family. One of those suspects is actually a juvenile and still in custody. Another one was arrested but bailed out of jail. Remember, there's that third suspect. If you have any information, contact the Sheriff's Department. Oh, it just makes you so angry. Let's hope they catch him. Thank you.